Hey guys, in this video we're going to see how to bake a more complicated object, something like this, on our low poly model that looks something like this. Um, so in this method, um, the main thing to take away from this video is the mindset of uh, baking and troubleshooting certain problems that appear. Um, now there are two versions of this, so one is um, a vertex count of 307 and a triangle count of 304 and I have another version that is almost 100 triangles lesser right so around 228 triangles model and both versions um, both the bakes currently work fine uh, I prefer this current model that I have and uh, I'm going to go through the mindset of uh, baking and you know concluding with uh, how to troubleshoot certain things so let's get started so inside my Maya file uh, I have this uh, high resolution mesh and uh, this high res mesh is simply um, just a high poly geometry that looks something like this uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just subdivide this guy just so that uh, it's easier to work things out All right so it looks much nice and smooth uh, there's one thing though um, in this mesh this is slightly lower poly uh, I could add more subdivisions to smooth this out but you know adding subdivisions is not the, the hard part the hard part is maintaining it um, to an optimal number of edge loops so anyway so I have this high res geometry that uh, I want to export out in uh, from Maya so I come to export and uh, I'm just going to redo this entire part uh, I'm going to come into this folder here, I'm going to call it demo and I'm going to go through this entire process again uh, so this will be my high res and I only have one high res geometry uh, which is this one right? which is pretty high res so to say um, the important thing about this high res is getting the bake uh, working fine for this particular geometry uh, where uh, the other I the other edges are very soft or quite soft and uh, these edges are the ones that uh, is going to cause us some problems so we'll try to troubleshoot only this piece and do very specific things just to get this one working out uh, the rest of them uh, should be easy so primarily we're going to use marmoset for this bake um, and marmoset is a pretty decent bake uh, baker in a sense uh, unlike uh, substance painter also has is good and bad for example substance painter you could mask the edges out uh, and mama said you can paint out the flats so there are two some two different bakers both have their pro and con so today we're going to bake with mama said this particular object um, so once I exported that out uh, that's fine um, now I'm just going to come into the other low res objects and start this so what I have is I have this lower geometry exactly on top of this piece, right? So this is my lower geometry just sitting on top of this mesh. Uh, it's not really hard to you know make this. You know I just took the base model and uh, added a few subdivisions in between. All right. Um, so it's not much, uh, but what's important to understand is the smoothing groups and how do we UV this piece in in conjunction with our big. Um, so I'm going to come to my files and I'm going to create a new scene file um, preferably using a, a sky here I can build my backdrop if I have to provided I have a blurred sky just so that I don't get distracted um, I'm going to use this set file to start All right, so inside set, uh, I'll cancel this other guy so this is method 3 cancel this guy out I want to save it of course I want to save it Alright, so I'll come to File, New, Import Model. I'm going to import my high res geometry. Um, in this case, I'm going to come in to this guy, this folder, and in my demo, this is going to be my high res piece. Right. So currently, this piece uh, has uh, this is the one I duplicated from Maya and I showed everywhere else. Right. Uh, so I'm not going to be using this piece, I'm just going to delete that run out. And for the meanwhile, I'm just going to create my basic materials. Right? Uh, so I'm going to reduce the color over here and maybe make it slightly more glossier. 
but it doesn't matter. High res is just going to be a high res geometry. Cool. Uh, next up is I'm going to get my low res file. So before we get my I get my low res file inside my set, uh, I want to go through this UV creation again. So I'm going to delete all my UVs and start from again. Uh, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to view my vertex normals and I'm going to change the vertex normal size. So once again, if you guys come to display polygons, I'm viewing my vertex normals and I'm changing the normal size. I'm going to set all this to set to face so that all of them are default normals. Right, so they don't have any UV and let's start. So to unwrap this piece, uh, generally I want to cut the edges around every 90 degree corner. That's a general rule that I want to go by um, for now. So let's start. Um, so I'm just going to auto unwrap just so that I get some basic uh, basic UVs to start with. And I'm going to start editing these UVs. So I have this shell. This is a pretty, this is a decent one. So i uh, Rotate this one out, use my transform, take it over here. Same for this guy, take it outside. Next up, I'm going to take this entire top piece and uh, this top piece, I'm going to keep it this way. Same for the bottom. Okay, so the bottom is fine. Next up is the sides. So the sides are not, I'm not really happy with the sides. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut it off. So rather than cutting diagonally, um, I'm going to cut this horizontally uh, because diagonally can create some weird errors in the cages and um, I prefer cut, cutting it this way. So I'm just going to shift right click, cut the UV and uh, come to this guy. So that's one straight one and take these three pieces. I'm going to use my symmetry tool. So W left click, use symmetry and symmetry is on Z axis. Uh, you can check me, check, check the axis from here. And I just want to move into these guys. Cool. So I get that piece. Unfold it just so that it's straight. All right. So the insides, same thing. Um, let's take this entire inside piece, cut it horizontally, cut. And then I want to select these ones and move into. So that's that piece. Similar. And uh, that's one. And that's one. It's cool. Uh, then the other ones, we can sort of see this one is here. These ones are here. That's the two sides. These ones are these sides. So switch off my symmetry. And then I have this front one. Right. So I have these pieces. Um, now these ones I will try to straighten out. Um, there are many people who consider. Um, uh, in this case, I can work without straightening. Straightening it uh, really depends uh, on your layout per se. Um, these guys as well, um, I, would, I would rather cut them so that I can lay them out better. But let's try to understand it first. So I'm going to come over here, lay this out. So I can see a lot of wasted space around here. So to save up that wasted space, I can cut around these guys. So once I cut that, I'm going to come over here unfold it now ideally we are gonna we usually uh, work by changing the normals first and then we change the UVs but I'm working on it simultaneously right. um, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say all right so these guys are taking a lot of space uh, I wish that you know without them I think my layout would be much more better or I can relay out and double check uh, so you can see it's kind of getting better but it's not there yet. So I'm going to, I'm going to just straighten these guys out. Um, so how am I going to straighten it out? I'm just going to come in to this guy. And uh, there are many ways to do this. I'm just going to cut it. Either I can cut this entire piece in half. I can do it this way. Or I can cut this entire loop. So then I may get even more space. Right? This will save up a lot more space. Uh, and I can leave it like this if I, you know, if I want to. Uh, but anyway, let's double check. So I'm going to come to this guy and let's start laying out these guys together. So let's manually lay things out. This is the center. These are the sides. So once we have our layout, then I'm going to cut this, these two guys, take this separately. 
Uh, next up, I want to take up this front and these sides together. So ideally, I want my UVs to be quite uh, around the same groups. It doesn't matter, but it's good to understand where your UVs are, uh, especially when you guys are, you know, baking and you know troubleshooting certain problems. And then we have a couple of these guys. So we have this outside and the inside. So try to keep them together. So I'm going to start putting them in the box. Next up, I have these ones. These two are the back. Um, so I'm just going to leave them like this. Or leave them like this. It really depends. That's why straightening UVs is much more better. But let's see. So these ones. Uh, now this one and this one can be together. So take this one together. Then we have these ones are all the inside pieces and the bottom pieces. So the bottom pieces first. Alright. And then we have this one. inside take this and this together all right so we are almost there in terms of layout I'm just going to try to leave these guys as they are um, and then we're gonna see how much wasted space and we end up having and we'll try to squeeze our UVs as best as we can So to the inside part, so let's put it here. There's a couple of acid spaces. Um, for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this because uh, I know for a fact that uh, I'm gonna eventually change the layout as it is currently, and I may change the UV shells. Um, so I'm gonna come to the smash, and uh, with this layout per se, uh, I'm going to. Let me just try to shuffle them around. Cool. Alright. A lot of space. Um I'll come back to this you know meanwhile. Uh let's let's bake it out and see. So it's always good to test out a bake first before finalizing our UV layout. Uh so when I come to file, export selection, and uh this will be my low res low res um, basic UV. Alright. So inside of my set, I'm going to come into file, import mesh, and low res basic UV. Uh, I'm going to come into this new baker, throw the high res inside high, low res inside low, and switch off my high res. Um, and let's bake this guy. So we're going to work simultaneously with my set and also see how it, fun how it looks. Uh, we're also going to change the color of our big material, make it slightly more specular and slightly bit more shinier. 
Right. So from the very first bake, it seems to be having some missing bakes. So these bakes, once again, are because of the cage. So if you see if our cage, um, it's not far enough as compared to our high-res mesh. You can see our, bake, uh, our cage is clipping, clipping through our high-res geometry. So I'm going to increase our maximum offset so that it can bake and gather that information. Now if I switch off my high-res, you'll see that now the bake is there. Uh, another thing is this, you'll see a lot of skewed circular pieces. Um, that's intentional. I made it so that you guys can uh, get a nice perfect bake um, and solve and troubleshoot some problems. Um, another reason I, I put these straight lines is so that we can get a nice uh, bake around these areas. But you can see that they're stretching around these corners. Like for example, this one is maybe okay. Um, if I see my lowers, what else? We see that it's sort of intact, but the corners are stretching out. And uh, here I can see my highlight. Uh, there are these weird lines around here. And uh, the reason why these lines exist is because we did not um, average out these edges. So if I come to Maya and if I see my normals, what you see is these normals are split out in two parts. Right? That's because it's hardened edge. Uh, it's the default um, so-called non-average vertex. So what we want to do is we want to average this one out. So ideally, the general rule lies in usually you select the UV borders. So now in this case, I double click the UV borders. I will shift and left click on all these UV borders. And once I select the UV borders, I'm coming to mesh display harden edge and just want to shift right click and reverse my selection and then I want to call this mesh display soften edge so what I will do is if you guys see this from these uh, non-average normals now it becomes average right? and that should become quite smooth right? so I'm going to replace the same low poly same low poly mesh it's going to ask me am I going to replace it so that will give this weird error all we need to do is rebake this piece and now we see that line is gone so we solved two errors we solve um, the soft and hard and edge issue we solved a missing bake issue now let's try to solve um, the other guys for example getting these guys straight and getting these guys to work now inside a mama set we do have a nice um, underneath my low res option we do have a paint skew maps where we can paint out the areas that are flat. Now, this does work. For example, if I paint it out, it does work out fine. But in our current model, right, if you keep doing this everywhere, uh, you'll see some areas, for example, these areas are okay now. Uh, these areas are fine. Some areas are kind of skewed out. right? So what we want to do is uh, we want to sort of, other than these circles itself, we also want to straighten out this line. As you can see that if I straighten this out, this line is more accurate or more correct. Now, I'm not going to come in and draw on every single line, right? These lines will be, will be far too much work for me. I can do it, but uh, I'm quite lazy to do all this. And then if I overlap on these edges, you'll start seeing the baking errors that exist. And if you control and left click, yeah, you average it out again. But then you start seeing very weird, very weird skewed results. Um, so we're going to work with another method. Right, so let's click done. Let's go back to our baker settings. Now, in this case, you can see that this actually is not that bad. Right? Uh, from this um, soften... Uh, from the smooth cage point of view this is actually not a bad piece um, so what we want to do is we want to sort of uh, bake out right come over here right you want to come in and maybe fix up our layout uh, straightening out these UVs also will work but I want to go to another method so another method is uh, we duplicate this geometry right and um, I'm going to work with, I'm just going to group them, I'm going to call this demo, this demo, so I'm going to group it, this is my first one, 
I'll hide that. This will be my high. Oops. And uh, I'm going to come to this mesh and uh, I'm going to start multi cutting it out. So I'm going to come into these areas and wherever my normals, so for example, if you guys see around here, so if I come in and multi cut around these areas, uh, make sure your multi cut doesn't have uh, edge flow on. Right, so I'm going to come in around here. So I'm going to come into these areas and I'm going to start multi cutting. Now, ideally, uh, I can multi cut almost all these sections, but uh, I'm just going to multi cut these column edges on this geometry. And let me just. So I'm going to add a lot of divisions in between. Color finger. Uh, I'm not going to add in between here because that will change how the average works. Uh, but I will add around these areas. Change it around here. Uh, add it around these areas. Cool. So now we have those, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this guy out. So file export selection, and uh, I'm going to come to this low res high, basically V, and uh, I'm going to come into this guy, and I'm going to replace this mesh, low res high basic UV. So this is the one that's quite high res. Come to Baker, Bake, Preview. So there should be no errors on this piece, and this piece should be quite, quite nice, right? So everything should be pretty clean. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this guy and replace it with this low res basic UV, which is this piece, and come to Baker and Preview. So that should not cause us any issue. If it does, well, we can always redo that part. But now you can see it's fine. Okay. So this should be quite an easy bake. Well, not easy, but more like uh, an easier thing to understand. That uh, 90 degrees, uh, we sort of cut it out. And even areas like this, uh, with this smooth bake, if you see our cage, right? if we come into our show offset, this shows us the cage that we currently have. Right, this should bake perfectly fine. Right. And yeah, there you go. So that should, so um, we don't need to, let me just come into the paint skew just to make sure that everything is cleared out. Right, so let's come in there. And yep, now we see if I come in, let me just redo this part. So come into this low res high, come to this low, bake it again, preview it. All right, so that's fine. This is a high res one, and uh, did I get the correct one in? Oh, I forgot to add some edge loops here. Oh, I did. Oh, I just can't see it. That's fine. And I'm gonna come into this mesh, I want to replace it with a low res basic UV, which is this one. So, preview, All right? So, that should work perfectly fine. And there you go. Um, that should work out fine. That's a nice pick. Um, I went through a lot of possibilities in this case. Uh, for example, optimizing the the number of vertexes, the number of triangles. Um, I even went through going through uh, Substance Painter. For example, in Substance Painter, uh, we would have to you know soften edge this one because we want the average from here, but. I guess it works fine even with a non-average geometry, right? And yeah, that seems to be a pretty decent break. Okay, so that should be it. Right? So hopefully you guys understand about complicated baking, or at least for a complex geometry. Um, now, I could go a second part in this to sort of optimize this UV and still get ideal bakes. 
right but i'll split that into another video okay see you around